Okay, so this video is for people who either approach situations in their life as if they're going to already be hard, make situations in their life harder than they need to be, don't go for something or don't try something because they automatically think it's going to be too hard, or tend to choose the harder things in life because they believe it's going to be more fulfilling or their self-worth is somehow tied to the struggle and to the grind. So we're going to tap through any of that and start to reprogram what it looks like for us to choose ease, whether that is an easeful approach in how we do something, or we literally choose the path of least resistance, and we start to clear away some of this programming that tells us that things have to be hard, that you have to grind, that you have to struggle, and what's available and what opens up for us when we don't tie our self-worth, when we don't tie our identity to struggle, and we actually start to embody ease. What does that make available for us, for our life, for our experiences and our relationships? So go ahead now, and if it's available to you, close your eyes and just think of a situation in your life, maybe from the past, maybe it's current, maybe it's in the future, and you are either thinking already it's going to be hard, maybe you're in the situation right now and it just feels really challenging, or you just know yourself and identify as someone who, genu who genuinely or generally identifies as grind mode, I have to struggle, life is a struggle, have to, hard, have to do hard work. So go ahead and rate that intensity on a scale of zero to 10, zero being I don't feel this at all, 10 being like I, I, this is through the roof. And just notice any emotions that come up when I say, I am choosing ease, whether you feel a resistance and notice where you might be feeling it in your body. And if your eyes are closed, you can go ahead and open them and you can start tapping on the side of the hand and you can repeat after me either out loud or in your mind. And as always, tapping is done best when it is your words, when it's intuitive to you. So if what I'm saying does not resonate, it doesn't land, please use your own words. So go ahead and start tapping on the side of the hand. Even though I tend to identify with the struggle and the belief that things need to be hard, I acknowledge how I feel, I honor my experience, and I'm open and willing to reprogram some of this thinking and behavior today. Even though I tend to think that life is hard, that it has to be a struggle, that I have to grind and exhaust myself and burn myself out in order to be successful. I honor how I feel and I love myself exactly as I am. And last time on the side of the hand, even though I believe that everything needs to be a struggle and sometimes I make things harder than they need to be, I honor my experience, I honor how I feel and I'm open and willing to reprogram some of this belief and embody more ease today. And go ahead and start tapping on that eyebrow point. All this struggle mentality, side of the eye, I believe life has to be hard. Underneath the eye, things have to be a struggle. Underneath the nose, sometimes I feel like I make things harder than they need to be. Chin, because if things aren't hard, collarbone, then are they as worth it? Underneath the arm, so I tend to choose things in my life that are really difficult. Top of head, that I feel are going to push me to my limit. Eyebrow point. Or when I'm in a situation, side of eye, I make things harder than they need to be. Underneath the eye. Or maybe I don't try at all. Underneath the nose. Because I already think it's going to be way too hard. Chin, and so I rob myself of the opportunity of even trying. Collarbone, so no matter what the situation is, 
underneath the arm. My filter in life, top of the head, and my identity, eyebrow point, is deeply rooted in things needing to be difficult. Side of eye. And what do I get out of that? Underneath the eye, am I hoping for more respect? Underneath the nose, am I hoping that I get more validation from people? Chin, or for myself? Collarbone, what does it do for me and my self-worth and my identity for things to be hard? Underneath the arm, maybe I feel like if things are easy, top of head, that they're not as worth it. Eyebrow point, or maybe I'm not worth it. Side of eye, and so I like to choose the path of most resistance. Underneath the eye, whether it's in my thoughts or my behaviors. Underneath nose, and if I'm not tired and grinding and struggling, chin, then I tend to think something is wrong. Collarbone, because my programming and my experiences and my history tell me that things need to be hard. Underneath arm, and so I expect things to be hard. Top of head, and when things feel easy, eyebrow point, I tend to think that something is wrong. Side of eye, or that I'm doing something wrong. Eyebrow underneath the eye. And so instead of choosing the path of least resistance, underneath nose, I choose ways and thoughts and behaviors. Chin, that make life harder. Collarbone, and it's not because something's wrong with me or that I'm silly or dumb. Underneath the arm, I just have a whole lot of programming and culture and society, top of head, that tells me that my identity and my self-worth, eyebrow point, are tied to how difficult things are. Side of eye, how much I can push through obstacles Underneath the eye, how much I can burn myself out. Underneath the nose, and how tired I can be by the end. Chin, and I'm choosing to acknowledge that. Collarbone, and I'm recognizing that maybe I don't need to see life or myself in this filter. Underneath the arm, because I'm kind of tired. Top of head, I'm tired of being tired. Eyebrow point, I'm tired of always thinking that things are going to be a struggle. Side of eye, or choosing things that are just hard for no reason. Underneath the eye, I choose to know that my self-worth, underneath the nose, is not tied to my productivity or how hard things can be. Chin, I choose to believe that things can be easy. Collarbone, I choose to believe that even if things aren't easy, underneath the arm, I can have a mindset of ease. Top of head, and know that at the end of the finish line of whatever I'm working towards, eyebrow point will be just as fulfilling. Side of eye, and how much better will it be if I'm rested and nourished by the end? 
instead of drained and depleted. Underneath nose, so I'm releasing any resistance I have to choosing ease. Chin, to choosing the path of least resistance. Collarbone, because I deserve joy underneath the arm. I deserve rest. Top of head, I deserve ease. Eyebrow point, I deserve to be relaxed. Side of eye, and that doesn't make me lazy. In fact, it makes me more efficient. Underneath the nose, it makes me enjoy life more. Chin, and it makes me enjoy the process and the journey way more. Collarbone, and I deserve that. Underneath the arm, I deserve ease. Top of head, and I am worthy of joy. Go ahead and stop tapping and take a deep breath in and release. And just notice if any memories, any points where you can remember someone or a situation that emphasized that you needed to work harder or you needed to believe that things were a struggle. Maybe it's your family of origin. Maybe it's just the culture, but whatever it is, you can use this video and continue tapping or you can tap on your own. But I am sending you much ease and much joy.